My full artist name is Poe Mia. I've been writing music for like as long as I can remember pretty much. I didn't actually start formulating it and putting it to music until I was about 15 or 16. It became really like a staple of my life. I started performing live right at the end of 2021. I was finishing up college and I had a recital coming up and I really wanted to perform an original song. I had to not be nervous to do that, so I started going to open mics. After I started playing the open mics all the time, I started getting asked by venues to play. That's when I became Poe, I guess. <laughs> say that within a little under two years to go from just being one person to being four and five sometimes feels really crazy. <laughs> I've known Poe for almost a year now. I mean, I, I saw them perform and pretty much was in interested in their music from the start. I think the most unique thing about Poe's music is their voice. It's just so clear and just kind of unlike anything I've, I've heard before. With the voice, there's also their lyrics, and they're talking about really deep and thoughtful and insightful things that they've experienced and that a lot of people can relate to. Because I come from a background of music therapy, I really want to allow people to use my music to help them cope with whatever they're going through or find some sort of relatability in it. Feel like, oh, well, I've been through that too, so I know I'm not alone. And then, of course, Poe's very infamous for their Rubik's Cube solving um, skills while rapping. Cyberchondria was very inspired by Watsky's Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. When I came to the open mic, I would sing Watsky's song and solve a Rubik's Cube, but I wrote that song, Cyberchondria, to do that, too. I think it gives an opportunity to give something to the crowd to do and manipulate and then watch me also do and manipulate. One of the other things I like to do is let the audience participate by singing, singing along, clapping along. Eventually I'm going to try to make it even more audience participatory where I'll have enough instruments to be able to pass out. But yeah, I just really like to get the audience involved as much as possible because if they weren't here then I wouldn't have anyone to play for. So. <laughs> Right now, I have uh, two EPs and just one single. I've got my first EP, Polog, open heart kind of stuff. My first single that I released just about a year ago uh, is called Golden Tongue, much more like electronic-y, R&B kind of style. In June, I released Rebirth, um, which was produced by the lovely Gabriel Vianello. I mostly just kind of want to show people that they can do whatever they want to do as well as I can. I thought that I couldn't get up in front of an audience and perform my music and get the audience involved and the more I do it I feel like I can inspire other people to do the same just inspiring people to be themselves and feel like they don't have to hide behind anything if I could see myself in 10 years being somebody who has influenced or inspired someone to pursue music or pursue their dreams in any way then that's all I could ask for <laughs> Oh, space, M-I-A.